Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A viewer reached out to The Morning Insiders with a plea that just sounds so hard to believe. Please help me. I'm relying on your assistance, she wrote. The 60-year-old Chicago woman has lived for more than 15 years as a quadruple amputee. A motorized wheelchair, her lifeline to independence, is now in need of repair. Her insurance company told her to try to walk or use a manual wheelchair, again a quadruple amputee. No repair or no new chair for you. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas introduces us to this courageous fighter. As you see, the amputations. For Abla Garib. Oh, I ended up with graft skin for most of my uh, body. Challenges are nothing new. She lost her lower legs and much of her hands to toxic shock syndrome back in 2001. And now... Over a year and a half ago, uh, my wheelchair broke down. Another challenge, this time from an insurance company. They refused to pay for repair and a new wheelchair. Grieb says since 2003, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois had covered her wheelchair repairs and even a couple replacements under the Illinois Comprehensive Health Insurance Plan. But Grieb says they're now denying her claim even though she still pays the $1,700 premium every month. Really frustrated, really depressed about it. For now, the wheelchair company is generously loaning her a motorized chair while she fights with Blue Cross. It's making noise, but it doesn't work. But even that one is wearing down with a backrest that won't adjust and a broken armrest. And damaged or not, she doesn't know how much longer they'll let her keep it. If I don't have it, then I, would be, I wouldn't be able to be, um, do anything on my own and I wouldn't be independent. So I would be like just bound to the bed and not able to go anywhere. Blue Cross denied the claim and the wheelchair company appealed. But Blue Cross shot it down again, writing, the patient is able to walk a little and the patient might be able to move a wheelchair with their arms. But you can see my fingers. So I don't I wouldn't be able to uh, propel a manual wheelchair. As for walking a little. And these are the prosthetics. Grieb says she can't use her prosthetics often because they damage her sensitive skin, which could take weeks to heal. When she read this letter, she cried. I felt like my life would be over, to be honest with you, Tim. I really am really upset about it. Blue Cross wrote in the letter, it is not medically necessary. Please call your doctor with any questions. This is a unique case, a very rare scenario when you find a person that has amputations involving all four limbs. Her doctor says it is absolutely necessary. Well, it's really critical because if she's not able to propel a wheelchair on her own um, that's not motorized, um, then basically she's going to be stuck in the wheelchair and can only uh, propel at very short distances, if at all. Uh, they're really not thinking in terms of the patient and their needs. Garib says the motorized scooter would cost her thousands of dollars on her own. Another challenge she doesn't want to face. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. We reached out to Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois repeatedly. They refused to discuss this case, citing patient privacy. Now, Blue Cross did tell us patients can appeal, something Garib has already done. We checked back with her and she told us Blue Cross has now promised her an update by tomorrow, but no word on what that might entail. So we'll keep you posted.